Hello and welcome to another episode of Timmy Power Gaming. In this episode, we will be going over the state of the beta as of August 15, 2018, and that starts now. Timmy Power Gaming! Okay, so, uh, just a general thing, uh, uh, right at the beginning, they want to thank you for help with the stress test, uh, anybody who participated participated in the stress test uh they're just kind of giving a little heads up uh another thing is uh for this uh, update there will be about an hour of downtime for matches that's just for playing matches uh, anything else it will still be up and running um pretty much uh deck building will be up and deck building will be up along with uh deck building and yeah, you can buy cards and open packs and deck build. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, next thing is uh, competitive construction. So, um, it's kind of a little heads up. Uh, competitive construction is going to be taken out of the main queue. Uh, we'll be back later, but uh, for now... Uh, and they are just stopping competitive construction, uh, just not enough participation in it, uh, about 3%. Uh, but beyond that, uh, yeah, um, it'll still be in the game, but uh, as al always uh, with competitive construction, the whole state of the beta, uh, it's a work in progress. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, just keeping on moving. Um, so, uh, time, the time uh, constraints, uh, the little timers that they have, uh, they're actually going to be lowering them. Um, you'll be granted extra time for actions and creatures, but uh, interactive, inactive players will have less time. Uh, so, they'll be able to tell just because, I guess, mouse movements are just inactivity. Uh, uh, another thing to note is that the timer will show up in the middle of the screen rather than on the bottom uh, so um, it won't be around your avatar it will be around uh, your opponent's avatar still but not your own um, yours will appear in the middle of the screen um, so and then next thing is uh, the auto tap function has been upgraded uh, so uh, what this means is that uh, it's a little bit more intuitive uh, let's say you have three lands, two mountains, and an island, and you just crack, cast a, a lightning shock or a lightning strike. Um, so if you have a shock in your hand, it will leave the mountain open so that you still will be able to cast the shock. Uh, if you have an opt in your hand, it will keep the island untapped so that you can still uh, cast the opt. Now, another thing to notice, note is that inactive or activated abilities for lands, uh, they will generally keep those uh, untapped until the very last. So if you want to use uh, the colorless mana or a, an activated land uh, that you're not going to be using, uh, uh, you have to tap those first if you're do using the auto-tap auto function. Um, beyond that, uh, I'll still highlight the lands that you're going to be using to cast the spells. So, um, just uh, generally, it's a good thing. So, I like the auto tap function. It uh, I think helps speed up the game. Um, you just have to be a little bit smart about it. Uh, tap those uh, activated lands first, and then uh, generally look to make sure that they're keeping the untapped lands that you want. Um, so, yeah. That's that's that. Uh, next thing is activated abilities. Uh, so they are changing that up again. So uh, you'll have to kind of not go by muscle memory for a little bit. Uh, I think their change is good. Uh, um, so what what it means for activated abilities, uh, the abilities that appear on the screen, is that uh, from top to bottom will be what appears on the card or what appears on the card from top to bottom will appear left to right. So if you have a Planeswalker, it'll have the plus one ability on the left, uh, the minus ability in the middle, and the ultimate on the bottom. Uh, same for, uh, what do you call, the K 
kicker cards. So the general kicker will, without the kicker will be on the left and then the kicker will be on the right. So kind of switched it up a little bit. Uh, I imagine the same with cycling. So just kind of a little heads up on that. Um, so yeah, bug fixes. Uh, yep, yeah, they fix some bugs uh, as always. Yeah, uh, hot keys and auto triggered abilities. So they have a new function in the option menu for hot keys uh, and also a triggered abilities uh, uh, like auto triggers type type, type of things. Uh, so that way you can order it the way you want or just turn it off at that point. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, so another thing that's going on is hangers. So they have new hangers for the, the newbies here. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, here's, here's a little graph of what some of the hangers actually do. Um, uh, next thing is the ranks. The ranks now have wings, so it'll be a little bit uh, easier to see who's uh, ranked at what. So, um, uh, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum, or ruby, or whatever it is. So it is what it is. Uh, uh, next thing, yeah, starting to get into the fun stuff here. Uh, events. Uh, so now, as you can see, uh, the schedule, it's right here. Um, I have a link below to to this uh, site, along with uh, an, another site, which you may want to see, uh, keep in mind for later, because uh, if you haven't gotten your beta keys yet, uh, I would get on this last link and get it sooner than later. Um, so yeah, events. Uh, there's a couple things. Exploration, uh, Popper, Twice the Life. Uh, M19 Exploration and Mormer Madness. That's the one that I'm really excited about. So, so let's go go through each of these. Um, so exploration, uh, you'll be starting with nine cards in hand. You'll have no maximum hand size, and then you will actually have be or be able to play two lands each turn. So it's a way to kind of speed up the game. Uh, get away from some some of the more aggro decks, but uh, I still think aggro will be good in exploration. It just may be more of a mid-range deck, or mid-range aggro at that point, so um, just kind of a little excited about that one. Uh, next thing is quick draft exploration. Mm -hmm. uh, is uh, pretty much the same as uh, quick draft, except uh, exploration rules, uh, two lands, nine cards starting hand and no maximum hand size another one i'm pretty uh, psyched about uh next next we have popper uh i'm kind of iffy on this um i'm actually going to play it but i think that popper will probably be solved pretty quick with the low amount of sets that we have uh, popper's made more for having the ultimate or having all the sets so I don't know how good it's going to be in a standard environment uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see but uh, my prediction is that that uh, is going to be solved pretty quick so uh, next up we have twice the lo life um, not really too into this one I think uh, control is going to be the main players in this uh, aggro is going to kind of go out the door or at least uh, red burn so I think uh, they may be doing this just because uh, they're tired of aggro decks and burn decks in the in the environment so um, pretty much uh, blue white approach decks are going to be they're going to have their heyday at this point so um, I'm more of a aggro fast game player so that's kind of why I like match the gathering arena um, so yeah, it is what it is. Uh, last but not least, uh, we have my favorite here. I'm pretty excited about this, uh, Mormir Madness. Now, if you haven't played Magic Online before or in the past, uh, they had this was originally from Magic Online um, back when they had the avatars uh, 
or they had certain cards that you could get and which would give you come into play abilities so um or start of the game abilities but uh yeah so Mormir is what what it is it's a format where everybody has 60 cards 12 of each land type so 12 times 5 and you get 60 60 lands in your deck uh and you same as always you play a land each turn uh, but for casting spells instead of uh because obviously you have 60 lands in your hand or in your deck um casting spells is you pay x and you get a or discard a card and you get a random creature from the arena sets so a lot of this is gonna be around whether or not you go first um if you go first you're probably not going to want to cast anything until maybe turn three maybe turn two um you'll have to kind of play around with that um, most people don't play the one casting cost creatures uh, they just don't get enough bang for your buck so the longer you can hold off on casting a creature or anything uh, the better off you may be uh, you may even want to try to wait till turn four but uh, beyond that yeah um, it's uh, extremely fun to play um, so yeah more mere madness uh, as for the prizes, uh, if you'll note that uh, they will be, for the majority of these events, they're only going to be paying you 50 gold and one uncommon card at zero losses, 100 gold and one uncommon card at one win, and then 100 gold and a booster pack at two wins so of course these uh, events are going to be two wins two losses so that being said yeah um, the only difference is uh, the draft exploration is pretty much the same as before so um, not too not too happy about the prize payouts but uh, they're they're going to be fun formats uh, maybe though we'll fix the prize payouts a little bit more uh, once that uh, comes around uh, so yeah uh, that's pretty much it for the state of the beta uh, the other thing you're going to want to note is at this point they have 50,000 beta keys that they are giving away which are the number is probably way far down at this point so I'm going to try to hurry and get this video out to you so that uh, hopefully you can at least get in on the tail end of that if you haven't already gotten your beta keys so um, there will be a link in the description below also a link to this article uh, for you to browse at your convenience so uh, that being said uh, as always thank you for watching please like share and subscribe uh, link to the patron page below a link to robin hood app down below uh, Beyond that, uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.